you guys and welcome back to another Peachy Babies restocking video. This week we have quite a few things going on. So first of all, let me just say if you are excited for this video, if you like me, if you want to see more videos like this, like the video. If you're new here, you should definitely go down below and subscribe and welcome to the fam. The first slime that we have is Pink Lemonade Ice Pop. This is one of the first of my summer and spring collection of slimes. So this one is an icy texture, so it's clear base, but it's very similar to a cloud dough. This one, you guys, my favorite thing about it is the scent. This one smells exactly like a really sweet pink lemonade, and I am obsessed with it. As far as the texture goes, this one is very thick, so if you like really holdable, really moldable things, this one is definitely for you. And then it's topped off with those cute little yellow beads because they reminded me of pink lemonade. And next we have another one in the spring collection. This one is Daffodil Gloss. I actually came up with this name as a joke on one of the Guess the Slime things on my Peachy Babies Instagram. You guys really seem to love it. So I decided to create a whole slime around the name. So this one is a really thick, really glossy, yellow based, almost cream cheese textured slime. So it's really thick. And if you are into thick slimes like I currently am right now, this is definitely one that you are going to love. It's scented partially like a flower shop, but also like vanilla wafers. It smells amazing and if you want something that's a little bit fresher, a little bit more floral, this is definitely a smell that you're gonna love. It also had to have some cute little flower confettis in it because, and what's really great about these is when you leave the slime sit for a while, they sink to the bottom of the container and they make really great Instagram photos. Then we have Cherry Blossom. So Cherry Blossom is one of the fluffier cloud doughs we have today. So this one will come half white and then half red so you guys can mix it yourselves. The white is a bit thicker, it's a bit more of a dough texture, whereas the red is very soft, a little bit more wet, and fluffs really, really well. So the white is scented like fresh cherry blossoms, so that's the more floral side. And then the red is, of course, scented like cherries. That's how you get the really sweet, almost candy scented Cherry Blossom. Next we have Frogo Jelly, and in the polls, when I had you guys vote on what you thought the name for this one was, most of you got it wrong. Most of you thought that it was, what did I say, Sea Dragon Jelly or something? Well, you know, me and my sister always have this running joke where we add O to the end of anything. Doggo, Catto, Frogo. I thought that it was really cute, and you know, we're gonna keep it that way. So this is a jelly slime. The jelly slimes are back, ladies and gentlemen. I finally do have clear glue, so you're gonna see a lot more jelly slimes, and if you want specific ones, definitely comment them down below. But this is Frogo Jelly. This one is unscented. It is a soft jelly texture. It's thick and holdable. This one is a really pretty Frogo Green, and it's packed with an iridescent blue micro shimmer, and then those really pretty gold glitters that float to the top when you leave it for long enough. So if you're in the mood, to have your very own Frogo Jelly that will also be in the shop today.
Next we have the secret slime of the week. Um, spoiler alert, if you guys go check on my Peachy Baby's Instagram story, I totally told you the name of this one in the guessing games. So if you want to know what it is, it's down there. But this one is the secret slime of the week. So first of all, the texture. Let me explain this to you guys correctly. This is a really thick white based slime. It also has a bunch of texture because you see the little beads on top, which are hint hint supposed to be kind of like ice. It's supposed to represent ice. And then we have some shredded foam that will also float to the top just to make it look more textured. As far as the scent goes, without giving too much away, if you guys like tropical things, if you like coconut, or if you like fruit punch, you will love this slime. So next we have another favorite. You guys have been requesting this over and over and over and I can't disappoint you. So we have Berry Fairy yet again. This time it is a cloud cream texture. So it's a little bit softer. It won't fluff, but it is really, really spreadable and really moldable all the same. So, you know, I feel like I've repeated this one over and over and over, but Berry Fairy scented like blueberry cotton candy and it is purple when it starts out, but when it's exposed to air or when it's exposed to light, it turns blue. So you'll get it when it's purple and it'll eventually turn to a really pretty periwinkle blue color. And next we have the most aesthetic video I've ever taken. I'm not even gonna lie, I am so proud of this. I will remember this for a long time. This one is Cherry Bomb. So Cherry Bomb I've had for a really long time. I feel like it was in my store when I first opened it, so it's been a while, and it's been a fan favorite for a while as well. This one is a clear-based slime, and the cool thing about it is all of the color you're seeing is actually coming from the glitter mix that is inside the slime. So if you get it and it's clear on the top and there's glitter on the bottom, just a heads up, don't worry, I promise, mix it up, and it will look exactly like this, but this one is also unscented, so if you want something that's just a really pretty glitter slime, definitely go with this one. If you guys kept up with my slimes through the winter, you'd know that I had a slime called Candy Cane Frost, which is a clear based slime. And then it has these really cool little iridescent shredded foam glitters, some peppermint swirl sprinkles, and then white foam beads. The last run that we're gonna have of this guy for the year until maybe next winter. So if you guys wanna get your hands on a Candy Cane Frost, definitely grab them now. This one's a little bubbly cause I just made it, but they do get completely clear like I showed you. Next we have Moon Jelly. I told you guys, more jelly slimes are coming to the store. I'm so happy I got clear glue. Moon Jelly, also unscented, is a jelly slime. This one's a little bit softer than Frogo Jelly, so it is definitely more of a slime versus a cloud cream texture, but this one also has that same jelly texture. It has iridescent blue micro shimmers, and then those bigger glitters that you're seeing because it's actually themed after a jellyfish. If you look up Moon Jellies, they're, they're really pretty. They look like this, they're very cool. So this is another new thing that we have coming to the shop this week. And if you guys really like them, we will definitely bring them back. But these are sprinkle shots. So these are little containers of sprinkles you can add to any slime your heart desires. We have a whole bunch of different colors and shapes for you guys to choose from. But they come in these cute little containers and you could literally put them on anything. These ones have snowflakes and I think they're cute. So next. A ton of you guys have been asking me to do K-pop themed slimes. I'm not gonna tell you what this is themed after. If you guys know, you know we're best friends now, but 
this is the Gucci Prince Trio. So if you guys didn't know, the Gucci colors are green, red, and white. They look super pretty together. You can swirl them and mix them up, or you can use them separately as these cute little two ounce containers because the Trio does actually come with three two ounce containers of metallic slime. They're all unscented, but they are a really nice, thick, holdable, clear base. So they're great if you just like really aesthetic things. But like I said, you guys, in the comments below if you know why i named this slime gucci prince trio please comment it because i want to see how many of you recognize it because a lot of you requested it and if you want to see more k-pop slimes definitely comment down below who is your favorite k-pop band k-pop song or something that you think would be super aesthetic to put in the shop You can totally mix these all together or you can keep them separate. I figured I'd mix them together to show you guys kind of what they looked like so you don't accidentally mix them and then hate the color. I got you, we got this covered. Although I'm not gonna lie, I think they are so, so pretty mixed together. And next we have Red Velvet, which is an OG favorite. This one is a butter and snow mixed together. So it's really thick, definitely more like a clay, a dough, something that you can really hold and play with without it getting everywhere like a typical slime would. So that's the texture. The scent is Red Velvet Cake. And then the cool thing about this one is, you know, this one is also k popified this week. So we have pink sprinkles in there as well as the red ones. And finally, we have another one. This one, this week, is called Black Pink Puff. Again, if you guys know where that is from, please comment it down below. Later, if you guys like it, it will be switching to Strawberry Boba. So this slime is a really thick and really fluffy cloud dough that is scented like strawberry milk tea. It smells really good. I am obsessed with the scent. It's really sugary and delicious. It's topped with iridescent confetti glitter, super similar to the moon jelly ones that you saw a minute ago, and then Black Boba's on the top so just a little bit of a note about the black bobas so that is it for this video i really hope that you guys liked it and i will see you in the next one bye